What's up guys, welcome back. Upgraded Titan Drill Man. This is nuts. It's like a demon mixed with a skibbity toilet. <laughs> Titan. Okay. Teeth. I wanted to I wanted to do the one with the teeth, right? So let's give this a go. Landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause if we go too fast. Let's start with his face. Those big teeth, right? So let's go. It's kind of like center point would be here his head will be in the top half so we do this kind of arrow pointing that way right this will be like the corner of his mouth and you have one section of his mouth that comes up there okay and then this one so all teeth and it'll go really long like down to there right so I think actually there's a jaw section, so it'll go. Yeah, there's like it comes in a bit and then it goes down. Okay, so that's the size of his mouth. It kind of looks like a seven. All right, and this is like a jaw sort of section where his chin sort of comes down because there's all these angles on it. Okay, so the top of this mouth, right? So it like comes down here and then the, the top of his head goes this way and this is kind of bumpy such detail they put into this it's so good i must say i'm enjoying following it and they're just like two minutes long it's kind of quick right and then they have it's the drill opens up right so basically it's got these drill lines on it Yeah, and they kind of just go back. Like that, and maybe like a bit of an edge or something there. Okay, and then the bottom of the drill, similar situation, right? So it kind of goes, how big is that? We'll go down this way, right? And then it goes down that way. So each of these will be a spiral for the drill, you know. They kind of get skinnier down here. Where's his mouth? So that like, what's that? Mm, we'll go that way. Yeah, so the leg will be there. Okay. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. So this is like the drill on the bottom. And then this has sort of angle lines where it sort of opens up on the side, right? And then we have layers and layers of this. Okay, now, bottom of his mouth goes that way. And this meets teeth that come out of his mouth somewhere there. So what we gotta do now is try and get all those teeth in. That's not easy because there is loads. So, and is there spit? No, what is that? Anyway, um, big, did you ever watch Beetlejuice? I think there's a character in Beetlejuice that looks like this. Am I wrong? Let's go. Teeth. They're crazy big, right? However big you think they are, they're bigger. Like swords.
okay that's what we're dealing with on the top layer and then there's some that like stick out here and you can basically see the edges of them there so this layer appears to go all the way back into the back of his mouth and it like connects in there somewhere And there's like a circle. Like in here. It's dark mostly, but you can just see some circles. And then like some more teeth. Sort of there. So we have a layer on this side and then a layer on this side. Which one will we do first? We'll do this one first. So we kind of like hook up. The first one does anyway. Right, so go. These ones kind of just go this way. And it's kind of like sitting on top of that metal. Then they get huge back here, then again. Okay, I like the gum. Crazy. <laughs> It just looks so crazy. Um, I think there's like another tooth going up here real long. And we'll just give them sort of edges because they are like metal. So we're just going to make them look a bit 3D. Just add an extra line. Right, and then a row of teeth going this way. So it's all about the teeth with this guy. So I'll just add the spikes first. <laughs> I think there's a big one on its on its own back there. So we'll just get the layer in and then attach it to his face, right? There's all these crazy big ones here. What way does that go? Ugh, where is that? Side of his mouth. Oh yeah. Okay. They're going that way, so that means there. Sorry, now I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm guessing here so we'll go in behind and then all this is his gum in behind that section there and then there's like textures in, inside here but nothing major it's all black really Okay, that's the mouth, basically. All right, tricky enough. So his head is kind of turning that way. So you have a horn here and a horn going that way. And then like the center of his head. Okay, so we'll go. Out like so, right? And these horns are bumpy. All right, so that's the top and the bottom. Because they're all those drill shapes, right? And I'm just adding a bump as I go down because you got to do those lines sort of in between, right? They kind of like spiral around. Do, 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 do. And these ones get kind of long here. Right. 
So then the other one goes this way, goes behind his head, bumping. Right that way. So then spike where? Shoulder on his shoulder. Across from his mouth. Yeah, about here. And then we go up again. Remember, if I go too fast, just hit that pause button. It would actually be cool, just this kind of. <laughs> just thinking to myself now. And there, right? And then go in behind his head there. And then again, you have to add all these kind of curving. What way does that one go? Say, like there. I think these kind of go different directions because it's just a different sort of shape. Kind of wrap around. Okay, that's the best I can do with the horns now. Okay, let's body this guy up. So, let's see. Neck, collar, sort of there. Chest armor and shoulder are kind of connected, right? So it kind of goes down to there, steps in. <laughs> Yeah, and sort of disappears behind the horn there. And then his body will come out from there. So it'll go. Got this plate. It'll go out this way. And back in. Right? So this is like his chest. And then his torso or waist is just here. Goes up behind his body. And then his other shoulder being there, right? So we got like a big shoulder section here. And this has all armor layering it, right? So it's got like armor plates coming all around there. And there is some like more inside stuff, but you want to give it like just some edge. here so then that's like um, so then the armor coming around here lots of layers of armor there so then let's finish the body and the legs and we'll get like his the rest of his armor and he's got a tail as well so this like goes down around his thigh here goes around like that it's kind of his pant area and then here and the leg goes off this way and this has armor on it as well So there's one leg going that way, and then the other one goes behind a drill that's here. And like his tail, it's kind of like bumpy tail going that way. Comes back around to another drill up here. So that's kind of his body shape. So what we got to do now is add the drills and connect everything basically right so say there's like a spike here we'll put the tips of the drill so a tip there a tip there and then a tip here so this one's on his hand on his hand and on his tail so we'll do this one first we might as well goes up this way and 
around like that, right? And we'll add like lines all inside. We'll just do the other one. Keep it simple, right? There, and then, what way does this one go? Kind of around here, bigger, much bigger. Okay, so this one is connected to his tail, so it's got like some bumps going down that way. And then this one's connected to like the back of his hand, is it? Or is it they're part of his hand, they're just connected? So, <laughs> whoa, excuse me, I couldn't stop that. <laughs> uh, so, well, I'll do, we'll do spiral lines, right? So we'll go, just make these look like drills. Okay, and then this one, more sort of faceward towards us, so it kind of curves around differently. And maybe one more. And then this one. Okay. And we'll just sort of add some, say like his elbow sort of angle. And there's like a box that connects that there. And then his arm comes out this way. So it connects into his arm there. And so this is connected then to his shoulder. So his shoulder goes this way. It's got all that armor on it again. Right, and there's, oh, there's spikes coming out of this one as well. Spike there. So that goes in behind his mouth then. Um, and then we can see like another shoulder, something in behind his mouth. Okay, complicated. So we need to connect this shoulder to this. So this goes down to an elbow. I would guess, I can't see that, but I'm gonna guess. Elbow there. So that means we gotta have another sort of hand line or something, bicep area at least, you know, anatomy and all that. And then another sort of armor plate there. Okay, so. Now, tremendous amount of detail now. So let's go for it. So we're gonna add the reactor in here in the front of his chest first. And then break everything up into like armor and everything. So no easy way of doing this, you just have to believe in yourself and just start breaking it up. I'll simplify it a, a bit, right? So there's lots of pipes and everything sticking out of this thing. How it's all connected together and then 
there's armor that comes around here. these armor plates have like lines on them all sorts of edge lines and So just adding as much detail as I can now, but simplifying a little bit, because you don't want to add, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't be able to draw all of the components separately, you know? So it's all just kind of red there. And then there's a circle here. And I think a couple of spikes that come out behind here. Right, and then there's all sorts of wheels and connections and stuff all back here. So like something here. So like a simple thing to do to, is to like color in around all these things like shadows and black and stuff just to make them look darker on the inside but you basically you just keep sort of breaking it up into different sort of lines and shapes and all that kind of stuff no easy way of doing it you just have to go for it really Da 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 Excuse me. Do, do, do. Okay, we're nearly there actually. Just do his legs, right? So it's like armor, kind of like the armor on um, the Titan Speaker Man. You know, when he when he has arm, armor on all of his body, sort of overlapping. Such detail and all this stuff. I wonder how long it takes them to make each character. And you know, render it and everything. I'd love to see his process, whoever he is. Um, and then the tail goes around down there. Right, and like a little trick is like an edge line to make everything look a bit 3D. Yeah, 
everything's going to be all right. Um, okay, so we like a circle or something here. Circles around it. More armor. Okay, um, this shoulder now, so we've got like another, where it sort of connects to the shoulder here, and then we have spirals all around this. These are like little drills. I'm not forgetting about those hooks on his back either. He doesn't have his weapon in this picture. So sometimes it's like, it's here. It's like a double spike thing. Um, you could add that. It, it's not in this picture, so it, maybe it's not in it for a reason. So I might leave it out. I think I will actually, because I'm running out of time. <laughs> this is complicated. So he's like little boxes and circles and stuff on his shoulder pads. And then like rim edge lines and scratches and textures and stuff all on it as well I forgot that so his arm has wheel type situations here And then like more layers of this armor coming around here. Everything's going to be all right. Do, 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 do. Man, that's crazy. Okay, so he's got like hooks um, coming from behind his head. So say at the back here, so remember now, if I go too fast for anyone, you have a pause button, top of his head I think is here. So these things, there's three of them on each side. So you can see us this tip of that one then there right and then we got larger ones coming out from his shoulder here right, so like right and i they go off the page but yeah i'll stop them there back down into there everything's going to be so that means we need another line there and then this one kind of jaggedy down here goes into the shoulder that way Oh my god, we did it. That is upgraded, crazy upgraded, devil, demon. Titan, drill man. That's cool. That's definitely one of the coolest titans in the series, I think. Fun to draw as well. Sorry I had to go so fast, but there's just so much in it. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.